So, now see here shear modulus and this is also known as modulus of rigidity. In this case, if you have taken a slab and it is fixed here at the bottom. So, this slab is fixed over here at the bottom here on any surface like this. Now, when we apply force F from here, this is a tangential force, there is a displacement in on the upper surface and this is displacement is this much suppose this one, this is here delta x and this length is L, this is here theta. Similarly, this side also it gets displaced here, but this bottom portion remains fixed with the ground. Now, in that case we can write shear modulus or that is modulus of rigidity G is equal to tangential stress. So, that is your tangential stress divided by shearing strain. In that case, we can write here F upon A is here upon this delta X upon L. We can also write here F L upon A into delta X. That can be also written here F upon A tan theta. So, this is about modulus of rigidity or shearing strain. Now, see a piece of copper having rectangular cross section of 15.2 millimeter into 19.1 millimeter is pulled in tension with 45,500 Newton of force producing only elastic deformation. Calculate the resulting strain and G is equal to 42 into 10 raised to power 9 Newton per meter square. Now, see here we can use here the formula G is equal to F upon A that is area of cross section upon shearing strain. So, we have to calculate shearing strain. So, shearing strain is equal to is equal to F upon A into G. We have already given all these values F it is this much. So, we can write 44,500 divided by A is your area, area of cross section, this dimension is given. So, we can write 15.2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter, I am converting millimeter into meter into 19.1 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into then G value of G that is a uh, this one shear modulus that can be written into 42 into 10 raised to power 9. Now, solve all these values just divide uh, just multiply this and solve this you will be getting here 3.65 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So, on solving you will be getting this much that is the value of shearing strain and here no unit because it is the ratio of 2 same quantities.